Well, it's always a good day when you get to be in the company of fine footballing brains. And I have two of them here with me. And I can't really ask for more two days before the Hero ISL 2021-22 final. I have with me Ivan Vukomanovic and Manolo Marquez joining me. Thank you, both of you, for doing this. First of all, it's an absolute pleasure to be doing this interview with uh, the both of you just shortly before the final. So I'll just begin and warm up by asking the both of you how the preparation is coming along. Manolo, why don't you tell me about the Hyderabad FC preparations first? Oh my, the preparation, uh, if I say it oh, is the same, it's not true because uh, it's a final, no? Uh, but I think that uh, in the situation that we have uh, during all these months, uh, I think mentally it was very hard. And I think that, uh, at least in my opinion, you can't uh, speak too much now in the, in the last days. And even in, in this case, but this is, this is not, uh, it's not an excuse. It's uh, only to explain my, the situation. We had even uh, one day less and, and it's, it's difficult not to finish the game against ATK and uh, again, uh, yeah, uh, ready for uh, yeah. speak about Kerala Blasters, about uh, uh, the plan to 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 play, about uh, about everything. Uh, I think that in some moments after uh, we win the the semi we won the semi final, we had to disconnect uh, at least for some hours, and and after again, no, it's only three days to train to speak about the the opponent. And, and we know is a is a heads or tails, but uh, is I think that I I want to tell that it's only one game, not like like in two legs, and uh, and let's see what happened because even in the championship where uh, one one uh, victory for every team, and I think that if nothing happens, I think that will be a, a, a equal game. And uh, Ivan, what about you? How is the KBFC camp feeling at the moment? How are the preparations coming along? Well, it was kind of a positive uh, relief after uh, after we first of all qualified for playoffs because seeing the effect from uh, where we are coming uh, from last season, disappointments and previous seasons, for us it was a great positive energy. And then entering the playoffs with the strategy how to uh, play in the two games against uh, Jamshed Pony semis to overcome that uh, that moment and a uh, very strong opponent. And now, like, everything is all right, you know, with the, with the positive energy, with the flow, like uh, like Coach Manolo says, uh, after the new years, uh, with the schedule and the games just coming back to back, it was uh, quite uh, challenging to prepare the games, to keep going in the rhythm, uh, playing uh, every three days and having uh, sometimes a one day to, to prepare the game. Again, it's, you know, kind of physically and uh, emotionally uh, exhausting, you know, exhausting, but, you know, that's final. It is final and now it's completely different than, uh, than the competition. It's about one game and it's about the approach and everything. So we keep it going like we were doing before with uh, maybe slightly different approach and uh, talk, but, you know, you want... To, to to do the things on a certain way you want to try to uh, play a good game to stay positive and uh, hope for the best so you know this kind of yeah. of final that's that's all about so ivan knowing you and knowing how meticulous you are as a coach i'm sure you had done your research on all of the coaches in the hero isl before you joined kerala blasters fc so what was the research you had done on manolo marquez that's one question i want to ask you and secondly, how has it been after you met him? Well, you know, it's always for me as a young coach very, uh, very challenging. And when you uh, play against the team uh, with such a great coach, a great personality who has a great impact on a team, who, uh, with the team working with consistency in the second season, and then you know that. Uh, I remember saying it uh, in front of uh, our, our people here and uh, with my technical director somewhere in December that uh, Hyderabad FC is, is, is the team who is uh, with the reason first uh, on the table yeah. because the consistency they have, the quite great mix of uh, experience and uh, youngsters, especially experienced foreign players and younger domestic players who are... Uh, 
eager and uh, hungry to uh, for success that's what gives you great result and uh, seeing that the mentality and the approach of coach manolo which is uh, creating new young players with in combination with experienced players it gives a uh, great impact and then uh, as opponent coach of course you always want to try to try to find a way if it's possible to win the game but you know in football you never know small detail can make difference and uh, you know it it was quite challenging for us the first part of the season till december uh, first 10 games it was more the like the recognizing the league itself of course facing all the teams and seeing the uh, the playing style of all the teams uh, the coaching style of all the coaching staff of opponent and uh, you know with all those details maybe preparing the second part of of the season and of course when you meet uh, such a great personality of me as a young coach i can only uh, learn learn from uh, such a coach you know about experience about uh, many other things watching the games watching the coaching style because coaching job i think it's the never ending never ending experience and never ending uh, learning process so for me it was great great pleasure to to have met coach manolo and now chatting together and uh, working uh, together in the same league yeah well manolo that's high praise from ivan over there but i wanted to ask you you've seen the job that ivan has done at kerala blasters fc in his very first season in the hero isl so according to you what are the qualities that he has that have made him successful this season and, and reaching the final with kerala blasters fc uh first of all i think that uh, if i look at kerala blasters uh in some moments in some aspects i uh, i uh, is very very similar to our team last season no uh, even uh, similar cases no if you remember last season we had important injuries in the beginning of the championship same than 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 kerala for example uh, albino was out after i know no three four five games and then uh, the other goalkeeper perhaps who can kill is a, is a, in a, well, with fantastic performance and then in one moment i think that i think that you started uh, ivan with bijoy but then in one moment uh, play both both uh, foreign center backs and then i don't i, I don't remember if sipoch was injured or maybe ivan put wanted to put uh, three foreigners in attack and then we discover uh one well, we discover uh ivan put a hormi pam ruba that for me will be one of the best indian center backs in the future for me is now one of the best indian center backs and then allow another player very very young player uh similar to our team last season uh and then this uh, these uh, things allow to put three very important players in attack then i think in my opinion ivan is the best coach in the league in terms of manage the team i don't have any doubt about this uh, uh, usually i say that one play one normal player with confidence is better than one very good player without and i think that in kerala blaster of course they are good players but even players with less experience or now no when they have to enter in the in the team uh for example now Jax, jackson is is injured and play ayush and ayush is playing in a very good level in in this is this is uh, uh for me one thing that is very positive for for uh for ivan no and i think that seems sometimes you speak and and maybe you have to be inside to know exactly what happened no but seems that these foreigners uh they are very positive leaders in the in the team but the great leader in in kerala is is the coach 100% ivan do you agree with that the great leader in kerala blasters is the coach thank you uh, coach for uh, for such a words i think that we uh, when we started the the pre-season and the competition i remember the first game against atk when we lost uh, raul after 30 minutes and he was yes. out for already almost two and a half months he 
not long time ago, he started to play again with us. He's also a young, promising player. Then we wanted to start with uh, uh, with Bijoy. Then there were, we wanted to play with two central defenders, a foreigner. Then uh, Sipovic got injured. Then we had to puzzle certain things. Uh, then we had trouble with the, during the preseason with the Raul Jixon and uh, Sahal, who were uh, they were going twice for national team. Uh, uh, both times, I remember Sahal coming back injured. So many things that we had to puzzle. And yet, uh, with my approach, with uh, first of all, with the last year disappointments and uh, issues that we analyzed, we started uh, being honest and telling uh, the boys that uh, there were things that were good and the things that they were less good. And then working on those things and the boys actually had to accept that these things were not good enough to give you the performance that they wanted maybe in the previous season and like being honest to ourselves saying look this is the way that we have to go further on so uh, and then managing the team and not only about players but uh, you know in the bubble with, with the 50 and more players we allowed also some of them to to come with the families uh, creating a nice atmosphere environment that gives us that energy where you know we never try to restrict certain things but you know always be supportive even if it's not going good uh, during the training session again being positive and saying like never mind next time will be better let's go spending hours on the pitch working and analyzing thing and because i think that there is potential there is talent when it's only about matter the, the way you want to work and being uh, honest and correct with these boys and that's what paid off i think today that's why we uh, achieved to arrive uh, in the playoffs and to the final so that's it. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, let's talk a bit about the two games that you've played already this season. And as it stands, it's 1 1 between Kerala Blasters FC and Hyderabad FC. Uh, Hyderabad FC won one game, Kerala Blasters FC has won the other. So, in your opinion, what was lacking in your team when you lost your respective games against the opponent? So, Ivan, if I was to ask you first, uh, in your loss to Hyderabad FC, what was missing? Well, we were missing a couple of uh, key players. I remember we were missing uh, Hormipam in our defense and we were missing uh, Jorge Diaz in front. Uh, Hormipam, uh, he was uh, operated with the surgery. Of his, uh, his nose was broken in the uh, game before against uh, Jamshedpur FC. And Jorge uh, was out due to yellow cards. So when you miss an important key player, it can change the... Uh, preparation it can change the completely outcome of your uh, game and your face and the, the mentality of your team and of course it's not because uh, we were that bad it's because our opponent in that uh, moment uh, Hyderabad FC was uh, in a good momentum uh, uh, winning the game against us uh, with a reason and uh, like deserve to win so uh, that game we deserve to lose we uh, were trying certain things but we lost the points. So, uh, again, I remember in December saying that uh, Hyderabad giving me the, the feeling that they're working and playing with consistency, the patterns, the way they, they're doing on the pitch, the repeating on the pitch. This, this shows you the, uh, the consistent work, the, the hand of the coach, you know, and uh, that's why in a certain league, or in certain, let's say, countries, like here now in ISL, when you have that consistency, it will give you results. And so I'm really glad that now we are showing the good example of a team like Hyderabad FC being in the final because they're working in consistency and it shows that it's not about the money, it's not about buying the best players, it's not about spending millions getting... It's about good, correct work, developing players, giving them chance, time, space to work, to play, develop, to develop them with the experienced players and that's what creates a good team, you know, because always... You can have great players, but if they don't form a good team, there will never be results. And Hyderabad FC is a great example of, of that. Working in consistency with great and potential and good experienced players, which allow uh, those youngsters to become better, to improve, to develop. And that's how you create a team. So that's why they deserve to be in, a, in the finals. Yeah. And, and Manola, what are your memories earlier on in the season of that 1-0 loss to Kerala Blasters FC? Uh, will you be taking a few notes from that game into, into the final and hoping to not make the same mistakes? I think, I think that both games were very, very equal, eh? very similar. 
I'm not agree with Ivan that they deserve to lose the second game. Uh, it's true that 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 uh, they had uh, important players that they couldn't play in this day. Uh, but when I watched the video after the game, uh, in that day, uh, is the team who created more chances against our team. I remember maybe six, seven very clear chances, even two crossbars or uh, I don't know, I, I don't remember exactly. I remember one very clear of Chencho and uh, I, I don't know if another of, I don't remember if it was Alvaro or I don't remember. But it's true that in the first half, uh, in the first leg, sorry, when they won the game, uh, if the game is 1-1 uh, for was was 1-0 for for Kerala, but if the game is 1-1 uh, for me was fair too. I think that both games were were very equal. Some moments uh, you, you win the game, and uh, but I, I think in, in some things, in some aspects, uh, okay, everyone with with his with the qualities of 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 the of of their players. But in some aspects, uh, we are similar teams. I think that the, in, uh, Ivan spoke about consistency. I think that now when uh, when Kerala Blasters score one goal before the opponent, I think that they never lose uh, one game. Uh, they defend very good, very compact with the with the the defensive line very good even in 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 set pieces don't don't go back too much uh, there are a lot of teams that they defend inside the box and then it's very dangerous these two players in the middle jackson and Puitea, they uh, they are a very good uh, understanding between them now in the last games i i, I use but but i i think that uh, the most important thing is is uh, again repeat that they are in, 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 in a moment that that one team who enter one player who enter in the team practically has the the same uh, the same who what is the, the word uh, the same uh, uh, performance or the same uh, confidence than, than the player who who because I, I think that they had not only this in our game I remember the left back Jessel Carneiro I think was the last the last game. Uh, for the season, for for him, no, and uh, big injuries. We lost in the first in the first game. We lost Hali Nar Narsari uh, for practically now till now, and and we lost in the third game. Yasir both with both wingers for um, one month and a half, and then you have to adapt uh, the team with with the same style. But you have to adapt the, the players with the, the, the qualities that they have. But uh, more or less, is I think that we are similar in in in, in some aspects. Well, that's great because uh, Ivan, time for a bit of fun now on a lighter note, but still in all seriousness. If I was to ask you, uh, who are the players in Hyderabad FC that you look at and go like, he'd do well for me. He'd I'd, I'd, I wouldn't mind having him in my team. Are there any players like that? Well, you, you know, I like uh, some of uh, younger players, Indian players, who is also uh, who are also uh, being part of national team with a reason. So, of course, they're good players with potential when you look them. You know, I like young players. I like players who can uh, become better, you know, who can improve, who can uh, develop and become stronger. And when you are following them and looking and uh, witnessing that process, it's, uh, it's great stuff, you know. So actually, you know, being diplomatic and saying, no, you know, I, I, you know, I prefer my players, of course, but, you know, there are always, I must admit that in every team in this league, uh, especially in the first part, because we were new technical staff, when we were analyzing and talking after the game, we were saying, you know, this player or that player, and in every team, there were players that actually... Uh, could perform uh, on, on, on a high level and, uh, you know, with potential that you actually say, you know, he's a good uh, good player. So how could he fit in our team? Would he fit or, you know, and in every team, not only now in Hyderabad, but in every team. So I think, you know, then it's the, the topic of Indian football with such a huge country with 1.3 billion people. There is a talent all around. So now it's, 
is a question how the, the talent is to be found and to work with uh, with it you know to develop and uh, of course and the key of our job and final objective is that the national team make a uh, profit of it you know that the players develop become better and then later on become key players of their own teams in ISL and national team so there are maybe some players but you know we Which are not you will the team. not name and respectfully sit on the yeah, fence, huh? of course <laughs> and, and and you know you, you know also we are not the team who can afford you know <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Manol? No, no, no. Who are the who are the players in in Kerala Blasters FC who you admire and uh, wouldn't mind having in your team? No, it's not about. Uh, Ivan say I agree. No, it's not about diplomatic. I think that if I ha if I tell some names, I think it's not uh, not uh, the correct thing. The only thing that I can tell without uh, without uh, say any name is that there are players than in former seasons, at least in the former season that I was here. Uh, now they are performing, they are, they are playing very, very good. And uh, yeah. sometimes the positivity in, in one team, uh, sometimes is enough, but it's very important, not only the coach, uh, it's very important that the players who are around these young, these young guys uh, if they are positive and they and they push them, uh, because for me one of the problems in the Indian players uh, is the the mentality. For example, last season we don't we didn't. This is the, the this is the reason. For example, that I that I compare this uh, Kerala Blaster with my uh, Hyderabad last season. No, it's about last season. In the former season, the first season, Hyderabad was um, the last team in the table, only with 10 points in, in all the season. And in the second season, we didn't have the, the was not man, mandatory uh, or people di uh, didn't demand that we, we have to arrive yes or yes to the, to the playoffs. No? And I think if you remember, we played practically all the season with only three foreigners because uh, four of them were, or three of them uh, were injured. Then we played, the important thing was that we played with one foreigner in every line. Ode as a center back, Joao Victor as a midfielder, and Aridane as a center forward. The other eight players were Indian guys that they say, okay, this is my chance. No, let's, let's to enjoy uh, about the game. Second year, in my opinion, is more difficult. It's more difficult. We finish in this in this thing. Kerala uh, was better, no? Because Kerala got to enter in the top four. top four. We we lose. We lost the 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 option in the last game against Goa, against FC Goa. Uh, then this year is the second year. Sometimes is is more difficult because now we have like like the was like mandatory for the people no you play very good you are very fantastic youngsters and it's not easy for guys of 20 21 years old uh, that they keep uh, in the in the same in the same level no and and in some moments these players uh, were uh, with a lot of up and downs during this season that we have to add that is very difficult answering your question uh, I think that there are a lot of players in, in Kerala Blaster that they are performing better better than than last season. Well, that's one one between both of you then. Uh, and if both of you were in front of each other, you'd be shaking hands right now. I know that for a fact. Uh, both of you have reserved uh, comments on that, but fair enough. Uh, if you don't want to take names, that's fine. Let's talk a bit more about the final now and the atmosphere surrounding the final. We're going to have fans back after two years in the final. And Manolo, we're hearing that there are a lot of Kerala Blasters FC fans who are traveling and who are going to be in the stands cheering for their team. Although they'll still be wearing yellow, but they will be Kerala Blasters FC fans. In fact, we're hearing that uh, the venue is sold out. Do you feel that gives Kerala Blasters FC an advantage even before the game has started? In the stands, yes. In the stands, they have advantage. No, I think they are the team uh, with uh, more fans in in India, or maybe no. I, I think I think so. No, it's the team with with more uh, supporters. No, and uh, if you look 
uh, how they were watching the game in Kochi when Kerala played against uh, Jan Shetpur uh, was incredible. Uh, I, I was jealous uh, when I when I when I look this image. No, Hyderabad is trying to grow. Hyderabad, uh, I know that was. Uh, 50 or 60 years ago, they were a very strong site in the yeah, in the, the great team with a lot of city police and exactly, uh, yes, with a lot of players in the national team. But now, in the last years, uh, they didn't have um, football team and uh, only cricket in in Hyderabad and, and maybe badminton too. But football is like a not a very big sports, and now the owner. Our owner is trying to recover uh, for Hyderabad this, uh, yeah. the things that happened a uh, long time ago. Well, with coach Manolo at the helm, maybe that will change in the future as well. And maybe Hyderabad will continue to get more of a football culture. Uh, but coming to you, Ivan, with the fans now coming into the stands, of course, there would be motivation, but is there also pressure? Well, speaking from a, from a side as a former player, uh, you know, the moment that the game starts, uh, you're actually concentrated on the ball rolling on the pitch and uh, the things happening on the, on the ground. And in uh, some moments, you are not even aware uh, about everything what's, uh, what happens around you. Uh, as a football player, I think that all the boys, when they start shooting the ball around the house and first time when they go to practice, uh, into one club, they dream about those games. They dream about those moments playing in front of huge crowd, uh, playing uh, finals, playing big games. And for me, as a former player, now as a coach, it's always a pleasure and it's always a joy. And uh, you know, the football, it's it's not the pressure because speaking, you know, we were speaking the last time. How many people wake up in the morning? early and they have to go to do something maybe that they, they don't like but they have to do it to provide for families for a life and yet now we as a people in football you know we are privileged group of people having that chance to do something that we love you know and then playing for fans and actually football we play for fans because it's it's a sport you know uh, with a great uh, impact and influence and I, I see it, I never, I've never seen it as a, as a pressure. It's a joy, it's a pleasure having possibility to play in front of a big crowd, big games. That's what makes you uh, strong, that's what makes you great as a player, that's what uh, makes you better as a, as a human being. So now, of course, the first time this season playing in front of the fans and uh, that Fatorda will be full, of course, it will be really nice. It will be really nice and from our side, uh, I think that all of us, we should enjoy uh, in that game, of course, the final is always uh, special, but I think that we should uh, be very privileged to having the possibility of playing that game in front of the crowd and, of course, playing for the, for the cup. I think that the small details are very important in this game and it will be the, I think, moment of inspiration or uh, individual quality, individual, uh, you know, movement or moment of, you know, creativity that can decide the game because in this kind of games, the small details can make a difference. Well, gentlemen, I love the mutual admiration on display and the mutual respect on display in this conversation. Thank you so much for joining us and doing this uh, at short notice before the final. And here's hoping for a great final on Sunday. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. See you on Sunday. See you.